What we're doing is speaking to the people of North West Durham and just highlighting the issues around universal credit, highlighting the issues around the delays in payment, highlighting the fact that the vast majority of people who claim universal credit or will be are working and they're on poverty wages and they're the people and their children are the people who are going to suffer over Christmas and over the new year. My granddaughter's not been on it, lost her home through it and it's all wrong, all wrong. There's people that can't afford to pay rent, there's people that have been subject to debt, there's people that have literally been forced into poverty as a result of this. We simply cannot roll out a test and learn process on some of the most vulnerable in society and I'm sorry but if a government policy is going to do that then I'm going to be campaigning against it. To me, I just can't understand understand why you do a trial that doesn't work and then continue to roll it out with all its problems. There's just no sense in it. This latest change with universal credit is just a way of imposing more courts and bringing more people into the sanctioning regime. I think it's conscious cruelty on the part of the current government. I think they're aware, particularly in this area in North West Durham at the moment, that rolling this out in the middle of December means that people are going to be left with no money whatsoever over the Christmas period. To bring it out at the most difficult time of the year for, for people over the Christmas period and having spoken to people today people are already feeling really panicked and desperate and I actually think people are going to become very very ill it needs to be stopped because I actually think people are going to be ending up suicidal no question people's lives are going to be affected and this government ought to listen because they're not listening to us, they're not listening to the people who voted for them. They're just doing everything in their own way. And universal credit is going to destroy people's lives. Benefits are supposed to be there to help people. And everyone's in favour of changing them in that way. But this change is making life harder and worse for people rather than better. I'm a disabled lady and I really don't want my benefits changed at all. I've got the early start of Alzheimer's. I mean, I can't apply online. I'm an epileptic. I can't, I'm, you know, using a computer is dangerous for somebody like me. I think it's part of a wider agenda that the government are pushing to say that those who claim benefits uh, not worthy persons and I think they simply need to take a step back think about what they're doing and inject some caring into their policy making um, otherwise we will make them pay for this and we will take them out of government any of those MPs had to go six eight ten weeks without any money we know fine well they would be campaigning against it stop it stop it pause it stop stop it. Universal credit.